I got to get this vacuumed up before she gets home. Uh, because if she sees this out in the driveway, she's going to lose her mind. And in turn, I'm going to lose my mind. It might be hashtag truck life. Well, it is Sunday morning. Welcome back. Hope you all having an awesome day. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm actually using her vacuum cleaner because she's not home. Do I got a shop vac? Yeah. Why am I not using it? Good question. I'm sure those questions are going to come up later too. Got to finish up my truck. Got some of it vacuumed out already. Not a whole lot. But I do have it all wiped down already with the cleaner. As you can see, that looks nice and clean up there. Nice and clean down there. Hey. Makes for a much nicer ride. The back was loaded with dog hair. Oh, I didn't even break out the camera for that. It was so bad. I had a dog brush and the rotary on this vacuum to get the hair out. Now, it worked, but nevertheless. Anyway, I got to get this vacuumed up before she gets home. Because uh, if she sees this out in the driveway, she's going to lose her mind. vacuum for a minute this is not an endorsement but this is a uh, a bissell look at the dog here in there a bissell now that's not all out of my truck because some of us is out of the house but that's a bissell power force turbo rewind i'm gonna talk turbo listen that's a turbo So my other truck, which was a which was a Ford, go ahead and laugh, all you don't like Fords, go ahead and laugh. It's all right. I love that truck. It just got dark. Hang on. Here we are. I love that truck. Now, it had AC outlets, probably probably three AC outlets in that truck in different spots. However, now we're in the bed, but it still had three outlets. This Silverado I got has zero. And it's an LTZ model, which means it's got bells, whistles, and even a little clown show will come up once in a while and do a dance. But no AC outlets. So the other day, last week actually, we were over at Michigan, stopped off at Hobo Freight, just looking around, and I found this. I don't know how good it is, I don't know if it's junk, I believe it was about $54. It gives me two 120 volt AC outlets and a USB, two USB ports. So this is what it looks like here. Also gives me a meter on top, tells me what it's doing. What I like about it is I can attach it to a 12 volt battery or I can cut these off and hardwire it so that's there all the time. Or I can just simply plug it into a 12 volt source which is what we're going to do today so what I'm thinking is I do have a 12 volt source right here and I could mount this like this or preferably maybe straight up and down might even be better I was hoping it was going to fit in this little gap right here but it doesn't fit Probably just as well because this is a center seat. If I was to push that, want to use that seat, I couldn't because that there would be taking up the space of the bottom of the seat here. So it pains me to do it, but I'm going to go get a couple of screws. We're going to mount this right here. But first, I'm going to plug it in and make sure the thing works before I start drilling holes in my truck. Tell me I lost it already. We're gonna try the 12 volt source. Basically these are just screws with a uh, large knob on them. So we're gonna take the 
negative, screw it on. Now we're gonna take the positive, same thing. I'm positive, I know I'm 100% I'm, I'm, I'm positive. All right, we got everything hooked up on the back here. As you can see, black, red, quite simple. Let's see if we got power. Now I don't know if I gotta turn the truck on or not. Let's see what happens. Nothing. We got the key turned on. Bring the power. Oh, we got power. What's it say? I don't know, it's upside down. Okay, we'll turn it the other way. So it says, I don't know if you can read that, it's got 12.1 volts here. It does have an output meter right there. Now, I don't know if this thing holds a charge. I'm gonna have to read up on it a little bit and maybe it holds a bit of a charge. But, now that we got it plugged in there, let's go grab something we gotta plug in here. All right, here's the deal. Jen just got home, asked if I used the vacuum cleaner. I flat out lied, said no. Don't ever recommend doing that because the truth will come out. We got the Jupiter. AC converter plugged in DC to AC converter it says I got some stuff going on up here now I want to go get the hair dryer to plug it in because it's easy it's light to plug it in zip zip thing if it works great round it off to the races but like I said she came home so I went and did what any respectable man would do is go to his own shop and got a grinder now question is will it turn on Bring the power. Oops. We got overload, shut off. All right, Jesus Murphy, what's going on? Did I break it? Maybe. I'm uh, gonna go do something I never do, and that's read the instructions I'm wondering if maybe that has to charge up a little bit I mean I just plugged the thing in just to see but uh, it works I mean let's just be real it works now you ain't gonna grind squat with it going that fast but it still worked but I don't think it's made for running grinders and saws and everything like that that's just what I had to plug in to see if it would work it's made for charging your cell phone charging your laptop things like that or or watching a small small DVD player but I think it's going to work as long as I didn't blow something in it and uh, we'll go from there so I think we're going to go get some screws to drill and we're going to mount this thing I know that grinder is way too big for that I just wanted to make sure it was going to work and as you see it works so I need I need to get a couple of screws which this might be a little small once again thanks to pop we got screws now that's on that plastic piece the small the, the bottom plastic piece down there is kind of it's flimsy it's kind of like rubber it's not hard plastic but i don't want to break the plastic that i'm going to screw to so what else do i got here there's some o-rings i wonder if i can make those work so what I'm thinking is something fairly small. Anyway, that guy right there will probably thread over the end of that. And just give it just, just a little bit of a cushion. Maybe even put two on. Do I need it? Probably not. Am I going to do it? Probably. All right, what you make sure you want to do is uh, drop your black O-rings on your black carpet. Oh, there we go, right there. So as you see, this edge right here is flat. There's no indent for the head of the screw to sit in. So I threaded on one of those small O-rings. On the back side, I'll put the bigger O-ring. 
and we're gonna screw it right to here. All right, we're gonna pre-drill the holes because that's the smart thing to do. And I think we're gonna mount this straight up and down right here. I think that'll work right there. Right there, how's that look? Y'all Y'all think that looks good right there? Take our screws, get it started. Put our, put our large rubber washer on there, O-ring. Now we'll tighten this down. Same thing on this side. And the reason I put the rubber washers back here is because if you tighten these these plastic tabs too tight, they'll break and then you're kind of SOL. So that's okay. That's not going to rattle. Gonna tidy this up a little bit and tuck it away. All right, we know how to run the grinder. But what it's for is charging your laptop or your cell phone. So what we're going to do, I don't know if it has to hold a charge or not. I have no idea, but we're going to plug this in right there. I'm going to plug it into my phone. And there it is charging. Obviously, I believe this is going to work as well. We're going to try it in the 120 volt socket and there you are it works like i said this is for laptops cell phones any other small device that you might need to plug into it because this is only 400 watts but they do make them a lot bigger uh we're going to give this jupiter power inverter a shot for curiosity's sake can i do this with all brands i want to see where it's made Made in China. It is what it is. Anyway, we're going to give this Jupiter brand a shot. See how well it does. And they do, like I said, they do make them bigger. Uh, they got a thousand, and I'm pretty sure, don't quote me, they may have a 1500. But I'm pretty sure, and I know they got a 600 or a thousand. This is going to be just talking up my butt like I know what I'm doing, and I clearly don't. Anyway, we'll give this a try. I'll let you know in a later video as to whether it was uh, worth 50 bucks US dollars, which comes out to, I'm going to say roughly 70 bucks Canadian. See if it was worth it. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed that. Thank you all for watching. See you on the next one.